Oh no! Oh no! He face planted I'm again. I'm sorry we made you do this. Quickly, let's carry him to his room. Carry that side. That's it. Take it slow. What the hell I are they doing out here? Just can't agree with how Ms. Eleanor does things. Why is that? It wasn't actually wrong. <sighs> no, I understand. I what I'm talking about is, well, just how I feel. Damn it. Just doesn't feel right, you know? <sighs> man, they might be the best voice, a voice actors in the show, those two. Or in the show, in the game. Because, man, the voice acting in this game has been mostly not great. But I gotta say, they've been a bright spot in a sea of mediocre. <sighs> and Eleanor over here just drinking herself to death. I'm death. sorry. You're not sorry. Maybe she is. I don't know. I just feel like giving her some shit. Cause maybe she's not sorry. I don't know. But anyways. <gasps> Ramada in. There he is again. Aw, oh, shit, it is Cray. We've by met the armor. before, haven't we? Uh, well, well, uh... Uh, what the fuck is Ramada doing what Cray is anyways? Returned? Oh my god, look at those what eyes. What makes you believe that I will welcome someone who purposely lost contact with me? Well, I, uh... I, I've been collecting all sorts of information, as a matter of fact. Is that so? Yes. Um, that explains the lack of communication. I did not want to blow my cover. In return, if you will, I was hoping you'd make even better use of me. Oh, I see. The truth is, I gathered quite a bit of valuable information regarding the rune. I... I know that the chairman has been searching a very long time for it. Really? <laughs> what? Uh, uh, oh, shit. Is he dead? Unfortunately, I cannot trust you. Especially someone with quite a set of loose lips like yours. Ramada, no! I don't care. I, I, oh, he's alive. We're good. We're good. He's alive. He's got, like, paralyzed or poisoned or something. He's good. What map? This map? This Take care. map. Take care of it. What? I'm confused. Oh, did he give it to his bird? Maybe he gave it to his bird. Could be. Could be. Anyways. Now what? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, mm -hmm. do you agree with Graham Cray's beliefs? No comment. The fleet that charged at us. Do you think that was at Cray's sole discretion? I said no comment. I plead the fifth. Now call my lawyer. Very well. Oh, yeah, about your ships. We'll be putting them to good use, so don't worry about them. <clears throat> don't be mad, son. Don't be mad. You got outsmarted, bitch. He, he'll join us. Don't you agree? We'd simply be wasting our time trying to persuade him. I can see the conviction in his eyes. I see. I'm learning so much from you. I'm learning so much from you. I'm just so... I'm so attracted to... I mean, I... Ooh, whoa, okay. We're back to this shit again. Where we're running through the darkness toward the light. Let's do it. Run toward the light. Don't fucking stop until you get to the light. Run toward the light. Hello? Hello? Anybody there? Hey, it's Glenn. Now, come at me. Use your strength to defeat me. Okay. Apparently, Glenn is here because, you know, Glenn was the last holder of the rune. Killed him. And, oh, he, he, um, I, that was easy. Well, then. Come at me, bruh. You are much stronger than I remembered. Damn right. Except for that I beat you in a duel like it was nothing. And that was like the first damn scene of the game, you know what I'm saying? 
Anyway, there goes Glenn. Such a sad day. Oh, wait, Glenn died 30 episodes ago, so never mind. It's not that sad, because we already got over it. But no, not Glenn. Anybody but Glenn. Sorry, Glenn. You're just not a frog anymore. All right, here we are. Woke up and we're good. <laughs> good lord, I'm tired, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm going to save it just to save it. Um, since we somehow got through there and nobody died. I can live with that. Anyways, um, uh, la, la, la. I don't know if I should save this right now, but hey, we're uh, pretty much at the end of the game, guys. We did it. We're at the end of the game. And by that, I just mean we could probably just start it and boom, we're on, the, on our way to the end. But where's the fun in going to the end if you haven't recruited all 108 stars of Destiny? So the first thing we're going to do is finish getting all the stars. Now, are we going to do that in this episode? Probably not, but we're going to get, get make some headway right now. First things first, put some people in your party. You have nobody there. They all left you. Pick whoever you want. You're really at a point where you don't need anybody to recruit anybody else. You just need a party, so I'm just going to... Ooh, should I pick some new people? Maybe I should pick some new people. Hmm. I'm going to take Ted, which I, I, ha I feel like I have to take Ted. Maybe I should bring Kenneth and freaking Jewel and level them up. They're only level 2 and 2, you know? I feel kind of bad for them. It's kind of jacked up they're level 2 and 2. You know what? I am going to bring Jewel and, Jewel and freaking Kenneth because I am, I am a nice person. I level up my friends. What I'll do is I'll just have Ted and Funky use their magic to level them up as we go. We probably won't even fight any battles, right? Many battles right now, other than if we fight any in towns or any of the islands we go to, because we're not going to do much traveling around on the map. Well, I shouldn't say that, but we're we are we will have to do a little bit of it. Anyway, I'm going to bring you, bring you. All right, so we're done with that. Time to go recruiting. Can you guess where our first destination to recruit is? You guessed it. It's the town of Oval. Let's go to the harbor and get it cracking, baby. Get it popping. Get it cracking. By the way, if you want to go and get ready for the end of the game, you go to the, uh, I believe you go to the deck of your ship. Don't go to the deck of your ship if you're not ready to beat the game. I think so. Well, I don't think you go to the end of the game if you go to the deck of your ship, but you, you at least start the, you get the ball rolling. Anyway, who the fuck's this? Wendell. So that ship's finally come back. Hey, shut up and let me on, too. Nico's on that ship, too, right? Yeah, but good. Well, I hope we get along. You there. If, is that you, Wendell? Why are you following me? Why can't I? You're what I aspire to be. I can't wait to be, work with you. I'll be on my way now. See you later. Dude, why would you not want to work with her? Even though her name is Wendell, I will work with her all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Anyway, if you don't, haven't talked to Nico... You can't actually recruit that girl, so make sure you've talked to Nico at some point during the game. Any point, really. All you gotta do is talk to him, just to prove that you have him on your ship. Anyway, that's our first recruit, so there you go on that. By the way, we did not recruit Colton and all that. Oh, and I didn't even mention, but we actually got Flair and Setsu back, so they're actually recruited. Um, do Gary and Emma count, too, or do we have to pick them up while we're here? I'm not entirely sure. We might actually have to talk to them while we're here. Anyway, remember Obel? It's been a while. How's it going, people of Obel? How's it going? That's cool. What about you? Nabokov! Hey, Mr. Rungaji. I want to come aboard your ship, too, may I? From what I've heard, apparently there's treasure being hauled up from the ocean from time to time. I want to try appraising some of that treasure. Please let me come along. Sure, why not? It takes till the end of the game, but you get yourself an appraiser, finally. Seriously, it took till the end of the game. Well, technically... We have an appraiser, I believe. I believe one of our people can appraise for us if you uh, put them in the... Uh... Actually, I don't know. Do we have an appraiser on our ship already? I don't even know. Do I literally have 63 lottery tickets right now? I have 63 lottery tickets right now? Bro! Okay, well, I'm not going to sit here and do this 63 times. I did not realize I had so many lottery tickets. Holy shit. That must have been for my long-ass grinding session I did. Wow. Anyway, I'll do a few more just to see if we can get a... If I could get a first place, that'd be pretty sweet. I would love to get a first place just to show you guys what the fucking... What you get for winning. I don't know if it matters if you spin it fast or spin it slow. I, I really don't know if that matters. You just want to get it to where it just dumps the damn ball out. I don't even remember. Have I even gotten second place here? Also, I don't remember, is there different prizes for different islands? That's the other thing I'm not entirely sure I remember. Like, is there a different prize for your ship, a different prize for every island? 
I'll have to look into that to double check. But yeah, this is definitely something I can do off screen, and if I get something like really good, I'll let you know. But yeah, as you can see, it's pretty much just a whole lot of medicines and medicines and more medicine. Ooh, first place! Fuck yeah! Congratulations, sir. You've won. You got first place. Pirate King Crown. Get me out of here. Pirate King Crown. Hell yeah. Remember the part where I was like, first place takes forever? Well, fuck yeah. I just got the best helmet, I think, to go with my other Pirate King shit. Hell. Oh, beautiful. I actually did not know what the main prize was. I'm so glad I did that. Lucky. I was about to give up. Anyway, trading post. I don't think we care about the trading post. The trading post person is not anything interesting. All right, we out. Okay, so we got Nabokov. Now let's go to this side first. Where the uh, remember there were some ladies over here washing some clothes. So let's go talk to them first. Uh, I don't know if we need to talk to the ladies so much. We just need to come over here. Actually, we should talk to this lady. Good luck, Monkey G. Here, I want you to have this. Oh yeah, wave wallpaper. Remember, we have an interior designer now. Wave wallpaper might actually be useful. All right, you got armor. What you got? You got anything good? I got money to spend. What you got? Cat mask? It actually looks like it's pretty good. Bondage set. Whoa. Uh, questionable. Questionable. Anyway, they got some good-ass stuff here. Um, I'm hoping that my ship actually sells all this stuff now as well. If not, I'll be disappointed. Um, but I'm hoping that's the case. Anyway, I think we can actually level up our weapons pretty high here. Yeah, level 14. So you don't even need your silver hammer to get it to 14. You just gotta come here. Um, well, you know what? I'll level up Kenneth and Jewel a little bit. I mean, they're level 1, for God's sakes. We can at least give them, what, level 5? Level 5 is a reasonable level to start from when they're level 2. They're only level 2, mind you. They're gonna be way stronger than they need to be at level 2. I'll tell you that much right now. And if I so happen to actually... Oops. Well... Okay, maybe we'll go level 6. If I do so happen to choose Kenneth and Jewel for any other fighting I do, I will make sure they are leveled and level up their weapon a little bit more than that. I just did that for the f just for the fuck of it. Just to do something a little different for a second. Alright, so... Let's see what's going on in this area, shall we? There is this girl who is apparently... Oh, Doctor Yu! Carrie, you're okay. Yes, and you too, Doctor. I'm so glad. This is perfect. Come with us since you're shorthanded. Mr. Funky G, are you fine with that? Wait, did I have to have you with me to recruit her? Please, pleasure to meet you. My name is Carrie. I am Dr. Yu's assistant. Please ask me anything. Cool. We got Carrie. Easy peasy. That was actually... I didn't even realize. I, I don't know if you needed to have you to recruit her, so if you don't have her and you get her, you can let me know. But honestly, I don't know if that's required. But hey, it worked out for me. I just brought you because I always bring you. I'm just talking to people, see if they gave me stuff. Oh, whoa, Tristan, what? But there's nothing wrong with you. What? In fact, you're even healthier than a normal person. That can't be. <coughs> Sigh. Sigh. Then how about this? Won't you join us aboard the ship? If you do, I'll give you medicine. Oh, get on. <coughs> okay, so we got the fake fucking sick man over here. Well, makes him feel better, so I'll keep selling him that medicine. The special flower, that is. Oh, God. Okay, so much personality these people have, I know. The inn. Is there any reason to stay here? Not really. Alright, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Uh. Let's see. No, uh. Not really anything worth buying there. Mega meds, I guess. Whatever. There's a rune shop. Anything good? Ooh, double strike orb. I want one. Um, I'm thinking the shop on my ship will actually sell one now, too, but damn, dude. Double Strike Orb is always badass. I will definitely put that on somebody when I decide who I'm going to use. Monkey G, huh? In the end, I'll be a landlubber instead of a shipmate. Well, isn't that just nice? Oh, dude, this dude. You want to join us? Join you? What's this? Wow, the ship moored in the harbor, eh? All right. Very well. I'll show company. This must be some sort of fate as well. So finally, Gunter joins you. You've actually seen him across throughout the game. But he never actually joins you until now. It takes him long enough, I know. Um, okay, so I think what we need to do now is actually go back to the ship for a second. I'm not entirely sure why I didn't put you in the party. Huh. 
Like why I didn't dis like why I didn't say to put you in the party? I, I just did it out of instinct. You might have actually had to have him in the party if you wanted to do what I just did. Anyway, we want to switch out you now, and we're actually gonna put in Cedric. But only for a specific reason that I should have known already. I, 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 I can't help but wonder if I really did need you. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Going to the Oval Royal Palace. I like that you can teleport all the way to the palace. That's a nice time saver. Pretty sweet. Pretty, pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. I have 5,000 pots still, right? Okay, cool. Make sure you have at least 5,000 pots right now, by the way. Don't don't not have that. Gary and Emma, what are you doing? Sir Fucking G, I've heard that you, you're fighting for dresses right now? The villains that made this beautiful kingdom suffer must not get away with it. Dear. Emma, will you come with me, won't you? Yes, of course. Sir Fucking G, please. Sure, come with us. All right, Gary and Emma joined. Remember, we only needed 13 people before we got to this island. How many is that already? That was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven already. So we only need six more people to get 108. Keep on counting. Keep on counting. All right, so next thing we want to do is go inside of here. And we want to grab nobody here. Let's go ahead and go into the audience chamber. The king is on our ship still, so who the hell is hanging out here, I wonder? Nobody? Nobody? Um, really? Is there really nobody in here? Maybe I'm... Oh, whoa, 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 there's somebody back here. Oh, shit. You're wrong, I wasn't stealing, really. I was, um, playing hide-and-seek. Yeah, that's it, I was playing hide-and-seek. Do you expect me to believe that? What, you wouldn't harm a cute name kobold girl like me, would you? There's no way you're Nate kobold. I was scrounging around inside the royal palace to see if there's anything good. I'm sorry. I haven't eaten anything in three days, so... Um, how about you join us? Hey, you're a nice guy. Okay, I'll come with you. When I said I haven't eaten for three days, I was telling the truth. Feed me something good, okay? Alright. We got Noah, which looked like a little girl to me. A little, uh, nay, kobold girl. Yay. Alright, so now we need five more people. Keep the countdown going. Keep the countdown going. All right, one more thing to do while we're here. Let's do it. Gotta go this away, uh, this away, uh, that away. Remember what was over uh, this away. It led over to the fucking cliff path that led over to where our base used to be. Let's go over here one last time and see what's going on over here, right? If we had to fight a random battle, that'd be cool. Cause I wanna level up Kenneth and Jewel. Um, let's see. We're not going to fight a battle. Either we got lucky or uh, just not any battles. All right, inside the cave you will find... Rachel, you're Cedric, aren't you? Hmm, you're kind of cute. No, 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 no. I mean, you're going to pay for what you ate at the Dappled Sunshine. Wait, wait, wait a second. You brought him for me, didn't you? Thank you. I'll treat you to a meal sometime. Come on, let's go, Cedric. Uh, I'll pay for his bill. You're going to pay for him. There's interest on the amount he owes. You know, it's 5,000 pots now. Sure, why not? Thanks for your business. Now, both you and I are free. You could go wherever you want, Cedric. I'm free! On second thought, maybe I'll come along too. Seems like it could be fun. What? I don't owe you any more money, right? Nah, don't worry. You're off the hook. I just am going because I feel like it. Well, I'll meet you guys up after I give this money to the client. See you later. She also wants your she wants your D, Cedric. She wants your D, okay? That's why she remember the part where she said you were cute? She wasn't kidding. That was not a joke. She was dead serious. Dead fucking serious. Alright, so. Why did I just teleport out of town? I don't know. I wasn't thinking straight. Actually, I was. Okay, so. I know I brought Jewel and Kenneth with me for a reason, but I'm going to switch them out. Because I did not expect me to have time to do this in this episode, but we are going to have time to do this. So, let's actually switch in a party worth fighting with. I'm actually going to put Kika and... I have a lot of people to choose from, don't I? Um... Man, so many people. I need to figure out who's actually, like, legit good. Mitsuba. Um. Man, Mitsuba's pretty damn strong. I'm gonna use Mitsuba. I haven't used her in a while. Cedric, get the fuck out of here. You, you're back in. You're back in, you. You're back in, bruh. Alright, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go back to Oval. And, uh, we got one more person we can get. Plus, there's one other thing I want to do while we're there. So we'll start from the Royal Palace, because that'll be the shortest cut to where we want to go. And you can probably guess where I'm about to head. But if you recall, back in the Dizzy Day, 
But there were some treasure chests that I opened, yet I didn't get the prizes from them because the enemy inside the chest was too hard to fight. Yes, we're going to go back and finally fight all those little angel hairballs that we skipped on. I'm at least going to go fight one right now because, remember, there was one in here. Um, actually, also should be noted that the enemies in here are now harder, so be very careful. Very, very careful. Look at that. Flaming skellies, man. Flaming skellies. I'm actually going to just like um, hit him with a little bit of a rush for a change of atmosphere. I give up. I give up. Yeah. Rush for the change of atmosphere. I'm going to kill your skelly ass. Now, I'm actually going to try to double sword attack. Let's do it. Oh, double sword attack's good against all enemies. No wonder I was wondering why it sucked so hard. It's good against all. Now it makes sense. Also, stop it with your hit all magic. I don't like it. That's right, Mitsuba. Show him who's boss. Double sword attack. Get him. Shut. Nice. I like that, man. That was good. That's good. That's a good attack right there, though. Oh, shit. Those Skelly dudes came back. What? I don't like that Skelly Man came back. That's not cool. I don't like that Mr. Skelly Man just popped up the gram. All right. There we go. Victory. So it's kind of like the enemies in the uh, inside of uh, what's it called? Also, we just got levels for everyone, man. Did everybody go level 50 right now? Not everyone. That was pretty sweet. That was pretty sweet. It was worth it. It was worth it. All right, cool. Definitely going to be fighting the battles in here for the Muns and for the XP. Clearly, we need it. This is good. All right, so now that we've gone this away, I believe... Hold on. Notes, notes, notes. We want to go north, north, north. Do, 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 do. I want to go north, and then I want to go this way to this way. Alright, so there should be a chest around this area that we've already gotten, and then it should lead us to the next chest that we want to open right now. Uh, but this leveling will be key to victory, so I'm going to go ahead and just do my thing, dude. Do my thing. I'm actually going to use Black Shadow. I'd rather kill these guys faster because they fucking survive. The these are actually unicorn zombies? Unicombies? Oh, damn. Oh, damn, girl. I did not expect that. Kill them. Kill them now. Or forever hold your peace, girls. There you go. Wow. I kind of feel like my double attack was useless now that I, the Black Shadow kicked so much ass. I actually didn't expect the Black Shadow to do so well. We won't need the Black Shadow for the Angel Hairball fight, so that's why I didn't care to use it. I didn't care that I used it just now. Damn it, Kika, why didn't you go up a level? Now I gotta be worried about your HP and shit. Not cool. All right, so there should be a treasure somewhere around here. Man, I am lost. Let's go this way. I don't even remember this place, man. I should have, like, drew a map. Okay, there's the treasure that we already opened. Fair enough. Fair enough. Or there's a treasure I already opened. I, can't, I shouldn't say there's the treasure. There's all the treasures in here I already opened but the one. That's fine. Can we stop fighting this battle? I don't even want to fight this battle. Unicombi. Unicombi. Get the fuck out of my house. Unicombi. Unicombi. Get right the combi. I should give Ted another speed ring so he always goes first no matter what. We're good. Oh shit, that thing didn't even die. What? Mitsuba? You're on. Looking good. All right, go next screen. All right, cool, cool, cool. Okay, I do not think I'm heading towards the chest I'm looking for, but whatever, we'll find it. There it is. Okay, you guys ready? Make sure your HP is mostly full. We're good. Let's do it. Oh no, not an angel furball. No, no, no. Okay, so really this shouldn't be a hard fight. Um, I recommend you just kind of go all out on it. In fact, 
No, Everlasting Mercy is kind of not even worth it. So just, just hit him with an attack. Your big, your big uh, moment of damage here is going to be Judgment. Which, oh, now that we're level 49, 50, we have two Judgments. God damn it. I didn't realize we were going to get an extra one. That's all right. One Judgment plus attacks will be fine. As long as this thing doesn't fucking wreck my shit, it'll be fine. That attack ain't nothing. We can handle that all day long. We can handle three more of those before that's a problem. Get some. Eat my 1500 damage, bitch. Yeah, eat it. So this thing has about 3000 HP, so that's actually pretty good. Nice. Also, wow, our attacks don't do shit. Never mind. We're gonna have to stick to magic here. I did not realize that that was gonna do so little damage. Never mind. Um, I might actually do this because it does a lot of damage, and I'm not about to fight another Angel Hairball or anything right now. Pretty much the rest of the way through here, we're just we're just doing our thing. Actually, yeah, yeah, no, we're good, we're good. Never mind. Okay, so um, what are we doing? Soul Eater, Hades, no, Black Shadow, Water Room, uh, Finger of Death. Um, I guess we'll just do Black Shadow. It does damage. Falcon Rune. And Mitsuba, I guess, just do your thing, girl. I should have brought an extra mage instead of Mitsuba. I, don't, I shouldn't even have brought Kika. I did not even think about this thing being good against magic. I really did not realize that. I thought it was going to be, like, okay to fight it normal. I thought it was just hard because it did hard attacks, plus it had a lot of HP. But no, we should have brought it. I should have just went back and healed my damn... My Ted. My Ted would have got this thing dead in two hits. That's a good chunk of damage right there. I'm okay with it. By the way, if you didn't know, notice, I got level 4 magic on my Rune of Punishment now. I just used it, duh. But if you didn't notice it, now you know. If you don't know, now you know. I'm going to go ahead and use this one. Screw it. Um, Soul Eater. Let's just keep doing Just keep doing Rune damage. That's all I can do, really. But, yeah, if you're going to go fight these things, apparently just bring mages. Because anything else is almost pointless. Bring people who can do magical damage. Did I get them? I think we got him. Perfect. Got the Stone of Speed. 20,000 potch. And from the chest itself, Golden Hammer Up. The most useful of the kills of the Angel Hairballs. Make sure you kill this one. If you kill any of them, kill this one, please. I implore you. You will get the best Golden Hammer, which mean, makes it the easiest Golden Hammer in any Sukunin game to get. Because seriously, Golden Hammer was kind of a, well, I, call, I shouldn't say a pain in the ass in every game. But it was a pain in the ass in the first two Sukunin games to get. Third one, it wasn't such a pain in the ass. You just had to know where to get it. And then this one, I mean, sure, the battle wasn't easy. But getting it, psh, all you would have had to do is remember to come back to kill that thing. Easy peasy, right? Anyway, well, I, the reason why I'm not leaving here yet is because there's still one more thing we can do here. And it does not involve a fight unless you're not careful. I actually don't want to fight everything right now. I'm probably going to use this place to grind, FYI, for the future. Plenty of strong enemies in here to level up on. You can get to level 50 and higher here, so that's a good. this is a good place to do that. Plus, for winning, you get a bunch of money, especially if you have the prosperity rune like I do. Money galore. Money galore. I don't really want to fight y'all hoes. I just want to get to the end of this show. So fuck yo, fuck yo, fuck, fuck, fuck yo. God damn this battle. I hate it. God damn this battle. I hate it. God damn it. God damn it. God damn this battle. I hate it. God damn this battle. I hate it. God damn this battle. I hate it. Don't make me do the old man voice. Are we there yet? I don't even know, man. Okay, the save point's here. This is good. I'm going to save it, actually, just in case. Be on the safe side. I highly recommend you save it here. Highly, highly recommend it. If you're going to do what I'm about to do, there's a chance you could F it up and not do this correctly. So do save before you go to the end of this place. And, yes, we're trying to get to the end. If you remember, at the end of this place, it was like a little grove where the where the rune of punishment used to lie remember remember and i'm only running for the sake of running i'm not i don't need to conserve anything i'm just trying to get to the end fast i'm only conserving time if anything uh, okay so here we go remember this guy well he's not really i mean he is kind of the same anyway you don't have to fight this guy you can actually avoid him i'm just you got to be very very careful I don't know if you can go right or left. I'm going to try right, I guess. Just don't touch him. Just don't touch him. Oh, shit. 
Did I just activate it or did I run into a different battle? Please tell me I didn't activate it. Okay, cool. Random battle's fine. I'm okay with that. I was scared. I was like, I don't want to fight him. Yeah. Highly recommend you don't fight him right now. He's kind of one of the hardest bosses in the game. Yes. Harder than final bosses. There are two super bosses in this game, if you want to call them super. They're not that super. They do require some strategicness. But, uh, this is one of them. And I highly recommend you wait on him. In fact, he probably is the harder of the two. There's two quote-unquote super bosses in the game. The thing is, they're not really super bosses if you can fight them over and over and over again as many times as you want. They're just kind of a boss. But anyway, they're, they're, they're super in the sense that they're harder than the, the final bosses that you fight in the game. So, super indeed. Anyways, you'll notice the person standing here. Let's just go ahead and talk to this dude. It's Travis. Oh, I guess there are some people who can actually get this far. Uh, you came alone, didn't you? Yeah, I guess. Are you guys really here to talk to me? We want you to lend us your strength, dude. I don't want any trouble. However, if you guys bring me Escape Talisman, I'll think about it. You have it? Escape Talisman? Prove it. Use it right now. Open it up from where it says items and use it. Go on. Yeah, so... Basically, you have to prove to him that you have an Escape Talisman. Also, wasn't there a treasure map back here I was wondering about back when I first came to this area? And I was all like, how come... Like, my notes, I wrote that there was another treasure map here, and then I couldn't figure out how to get it. I thought it had to do with the tree, but maybe not. Anyway, whatever. So, anyway, this motherfucker wants me to use the escape talisman. I pray to God that I actually have one. I'm pretty sure I... I was pretty sure I brought one. But if I didn't, well, then I'm going to feel kind of dumb. Use it right now. All right, please tell me I have one. Yeah, I have four. Cool. All right, so, yeah. Use an escape talisman in his face to leave. And then it's like, oh, okay. Cool. Now what? Now he wants me to actually go back and talk to him. In fact, I'm not sure, but we should probably... Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go back and save it, and then I'm going to go back to Travis and recruit his ass. So hold on one tech. All right, Travis, I'm here. So you've come back. You must be angry, rightfully so. Oh, all right, I'll lend you my help. <laughs> what did I, what, did I actually believe that if I used an escape talisman, he, I wasn't going to teleport out of here? Anyway, it's annoying that you have to go back through that dungeon again just to get him. But hey, we got him, so now we can get the fuck out of here. Sounds good. All right, guys. If I'm not mistaken, we are now at 107 stars of destiny. Yes, we should be only missing one person. Let me confirm this. Because if I'm missing more than one, then I have to double check who I'm missing. So we're missing the Tenon star. Anybody else? Remember, I forgot to mention when I was counting down earlier that Flair and Setsu have now officially joined as well. So that should get us to 107. Let's make sure. I'll make sure there's no missing people. It looks like we're good, though. I don't see any missing mofos. We're good. We got 107 of the 108 stars of Destiny, guys. We're there. But who's the final star? I think you guys should already know. It should be obvious. There was a reason why we didn't behead his ass three times before. And in the next episode, we get there. 108 stars of destiny will be completed. See you guys then. Peace!